Hey there, in this video, I'm going to show you how to install MetaTrader 4 indicators on MT4 for Mac. All right, so I've been getting this question quite a bit, especially from people who have purchased our custom EAs and indicators. Uh, so before we get started on how to actually install them, uh, you should have a little bit of background on how this works. So the number one solution that I found for this MT4 for Mac solution is XM. Now, I don't know anything about XM. I don't trade with them. I don't know anybody who trades with them. But um, I'm just using them as an example because they are the um, one that comes up first in the search engine results, right? So let's head on over to their page. And as you can see, it's pretty simple to download. Um, you just hit the download button there and then um, you're all set to go. You, you just double click the package and you can install it just like a regular Mac program and it starts running. But what they're really doing here is they're taking the Windows program, they're packaging it up, they're adding a few components to make it run on Mac OS. So what they use is this thing called Wineskin and you can take a look at it here. It's an open source um, software package that helps developers uh, create a Mac OS executable solution from a Windows program. In my opinion, this is the least stable way to run MT4 and I have seen some issues um, in the past doing this, so I do not recommend it. A much better solution is to run a virtual machine like VMware Fusion or Parallels, or you could do a dual boot system where you can either log into Mac OS or Windows. And these are great solutions because you're actually using the native uh, Windows uh, operating system and that means you'll have all the components you need and you won't have any of this like gluing together all these components. It's kind of like building a shed in your backyard with the wood that you found around the neighborhood. You know it'll work well enough probably but it won't be the best solution uh, and it'll probably fall apart at some point. So I'm not a huge fan of using um, this MT4 for Mac solution. Uh, so you can use a, a dual boot system, you can use a virtual machine, but my preferred way of doing this is to actually get a Windows laptop or one of those small mini PCs and put that in the corner of your house. And then I use my Mac to remote desktop into that Windows machine and then I can use it that way. And that for me, that's the best solution because you're running Windows natively on a PC. Uh, so it's, it tends to work the best, especially if you're using programs like MetaTrader or uh, Forex Tester. And um, for me, that works the best, but you can use one of those other solutions also. So doing something like this with um, MT4 on Mac, the way XM does it, is my last resort solution. I would not use this for regular trading, but if you insist on using it, then this is how you install custom EAs and indicators. First thing you're gonna do is go into your finder and go to applications and then find the XM MT4 icon. Again, I don't endorse them, I don't know anything about them, but they do have the number one solution for this, so I'm using them as an example. So right click on the icon and then show package contents. And then from here, it's gonna be like a Windows directory. So go to drive C, uh, go to program files and make sure that's x86. And I wanna point something out here. If you go over to the um, XM website, the instructions here show you this path, right? But when you pull up the finder, uh, that's actually incorrect because you're going to program files, XM, MT4, and then exports. But you actually have to go to program files x86 because if you go to program files, there's no XM uh, folder in there. So you have to go to program files x86 and then go to XM MT4. And then from there, you also have to go into MQL4. Uh, that's missing here on the instructions. So you go into MQL4, and then you'll find your experts and your indicators uh, folder. So just drop, if you have an indicator, drop it in the indicators folder. If you have a expert advisor or an EA, just drop it in the experts folder. From there, just close everything down and then uh, restart MetaTrader. And then when it comes back up, your custom EA or your indicator should be available. All right, one more thing before you go, and this is one of the reasons why I don't like using um, this solution for MT4 trading, um, because it can get a little glitchy. So you might find that once you add your custom indicator to the chart, uh, and then you close down MetaTrader 4, and then you open it again, then it might go back to the original chart 
uh, layout without your original indicator or your EA. So I don't know a permanent solution for this because like I said, this is kind of a piece together solution. So the best way I've found to keep your chart the way you want to have it is to use a template. So first set up your chart the way you want it, put your custom indicators in there, put your custom EA in there. And then once your chart is all set up, then right click on the chart, go to template, save template. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna save the template as a default. So you can save it as default with a capital D, save that template. And the next time you start up your computer or your MT4, uh, that will be the template that appears. All right, so that's all there is to it. If you have any questions, leave them below the video. If this helped you, a thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. And remember to subscribe if you wanna get more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching.